Hey, man. Choose your which color power bait. Ooh. And some salmon eggs. I'll go here. I'll try that. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Chad from the right line. Joseph is with me here. We're up at Hagler Creek. By our luck, we had a little fishing today. There's a few holes along the way up this creek here we're gonna try. We'll sit here for a few minutes. The one hole that we were gonna we were gonna try already has already got some people in it, so maybe we can try that tomorrow. But in any case, wish us luck. Nicely done. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Nice for a little rainbow trout there. Hang on, let me get this in here before you pull that hook out. Okay, here we go. I've caught two fish. Two fish. Decent size. One, one to two. If I could caught one right here on camera. No wiggle technique. It's your bait, so it looks like a. I don't think Small I've ever heard fish. of the wiggle technique. It's not an actual technique. You just made it up. We moved spots. We're upstream now. Give it a try. See what happens. Very annoying. I feel like I put the other power baits in my pocket. Okay. So up that way, there's not really not any other good fishing no, spot. No, there's a huge fishing hole up there. There's a big one up there. So Joseph is the great fisherman today. He caught the biggest one. He's got the he's got two of them. I got one. I got the smallest one, and then I got the biggest one. We're moving upstream here to the to the last big water hole that I know of up here. Mrs. Right Line made sure to tell me that we were supposed to come home with fish for her. So I thought she didn't like trout, or is that Well when we were married she didn't like camping and she didn't like fishing. But now she does. And now she does both. So, I know people change over the years, but maybe it's just my, yeah, up. Maybe it's just my charming personality. Ooh, what is that? Some kind of beetle. It looks poisonous. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Joe is thinking about whether or not he can make it across and sit over on that rock over there. Stop. 
Yep. I'm gonna get out of this. Okay. Somehow. Without getting wet. Maybe. Step backwards with your left foot. I can. Okay. Oh, at least he made it that far. Well, this is a little bit of a different uh, kind of adventure. It's not a fishing adventure. It's a uh, go find a spot to crawl the RC truck adventure. Got my F cab behind me on my backpack. And I'm going to go find the water. And here we are. You're out of water. Looks like this might be some good fishing. There'll be a lookout though for snakes and other critters because last night on our way up here, around 11 o'clock at night, 74 degrees out, we saw an actual rattlesnake. We didn't think we would see a rattlesnake, but we did. Oh, here's the bridge right up here. There's somebody crossing. The creek actually flows over the bridge. I don't remember though. Ah, here we go. This is where the river comes, or not river, but creek comes out. That looks like some good fishing down there. Here we're, this is what we're talking about. These rocks, right here. Some nice little rocks in here. I'll come back with dad some other time. He's up at camp relaxing because it's hot. So uh, they are back right on the right path. We should come up right behind the camp. Oh, we're back at camp. Dad's got the canopy up. Or canopy up with the doors on. Squeeze through. And there he is. Hi. How are you, sir? Peaceful. That's good. I have good news. No work. No drama. No cell service. That's also good. Gods go stand by the creek this morning and fish. And aside from the other people in the campground, it's peaceful. Yeah. I have good news. Well, multiple good news. You found a winning Powerball ticket down below and solved Un all of our problems. Unfortunately, I didn't. As much as I would have liked to. So this is our favorite spot in this area. Yep. And right below this rock here is where Joseph caught many of his first fish. Three. Yeah. Three of my first fish. So we'll see how we do. We're in the afternoon. We're at the place where the Chamberlain Trail crosses Hagler Creek here. Nice big pool. Trying our luck. Three fish this morning, which is nice. But any bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. And I wouldn't even call this a bad day of fishing because we caught some fish. I'm out here with him. We're having an awesome time. That's all that matters. Keep searching and you find something nice. Another big hole down there too. fish in here. They're either full. We're feeding them more than, more than
more than having any luck at anything else. We don't get to come fishing nearly as much as we'd like. It's actually our fault. I mean, we should just plan it more often, but, but we don't. Hagler is one of our uh, favorite places to go. This is where Joe caught a lot of his first fish, actually, is in the Hagler. It's a really cool place. We like it. Secluded, but there's a lot of people up here making, you know, a lot of noise like people do. We're really not campground kind of campers. We'd rather um, take the camper or the rooftop tent and try to get back to a place where there are very few people, but there are a couple campgrounds in this area that we really like. Hagler's one of them. Airplane Flats is another, and the both of them have fishing nearby. At least we caught three fish today. Yeah. Oh, still recording. I thought I shut you off. Just how we left camp. Chewy in the camper. New lights. They're very bright. They're very bright, very bright. Oh, you did have a big mosquito bite on that arm. Oh, youch. We've had this camper now for a number of years here. Our Sunray 109. We put the walls on our awning, our 270 awning earlier because it was getting a little windy and we thought we were going to have some rain. All right. Time to get some dinner started. Yeah. All right, so this is about what we look like in here. We've just had dinner. Got our table out. This is basically what camp looks like, more or less, for us. Camper um, dishwashing. I'm drying. Drying now, yeah. Actually, it's nice this camper has a furnace, so we can hot get water. hot water, take a hot shower if we want, because we do have a shower on board, and then we have uh, hot water for that sink so we can wash dishes. So, anyways, we're going to um, finish up our night, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Sunday and uh, just woken up here at camp. We're getting our coffee made. We're gonna have some breakfast. We're gonna mess around here and camp for a little while this morning, but if oh, we're actually gonna take off and go home to today early, a day early, because the site next to us. And for the last two nights, they have their music cranking till 1, 1 2 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're not tolerating that another night. No way. Here, they usually have a camp host at this spot, and then they don't have a camp host here, so there's nobody to kind of keep, you know, not the peace, but you know what I'm talking about. Fourth of July weekend. Yep. Decent weather. One of our favorite campgrounds, though there aren't many. Some decent fishing with a few catches. We got to do some RC crawling that we hadn't got to do in a little while. It's too hot. Oh, it's nice. It's nice though. Yeah, what a great weekend. How do the trucks look on my backpack on my back? Like they belong there? Like, uh, <laughs> like you want to go to Axio Fest really bad or something? Yeah, I, I wonder. I, I, I can imagine. Maybe, maybe next year. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. It's just that we have to travel either to Indiana, which is a long way. Attica, Indiana, which is farther. Yep. Or California, which is only up by, um, Lake, South Lake Tahoe. Yeah, South Lake Tahoe, which is beautiful, but I mean, I mean, it's just no, expensive. 
No offense, gas prices are out of control and other than the Rubicon Trail in Lake Tahoe and I don't really want to go to California. Yeah. Is that going to get me all kinds of down, down arrow or down thumbs and a bunch of negative comments? No, I don't think so. I hope not. 